you know so he invited me to come to the ung 2020 unsigned artist radio hangout award show which is where we had it here at the b-side and that's where i met you and shay and yeah and then we're here it's it was dope because the, the, the thing is with madman like um he reminds me like he networks like i like to network oh yeah oh like, yeah oh, go yeah. somewhere let's do it right and let's chop it up with everybody and let, especially like if you see an artist performing you haven't seen before i've done this at many shows but it's like damn they were dope or she was dope or yeah, he was dope yeah and i make sure like if i can get to him depending on the venue like i, yeah, I make sure it, i it. go let him know you hell know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, so yeah. That, that's dope I, I feel like he's the same way on that yeah um, yeah and Mad man definitely shows a lot of love so any place any opportunity anything that he thinks that he can put you into that's gonna be a good look He's always literally trying to do that. So he literally walked me back here. Was like, "Oh yeah, you need to meet Shane." He's been <laughs> he's been plugging us into it. And, Hell and, yeah, uh, we, we've been trying to do the same. You know what I'm saying? Hell but, yeah. Um, I wanted to ask. So you're originally over here, and where where'd you end up moving to? Yeah. So I'm originally from South Central Los Angeles. You God. know what I'm saying? Right. Went to Crenshaw High School. The whole get down. Shouts out to the whole camp over there. Yeah, she, I mean, she got the dope hoodie on. You got too. a dope hoodie on. Yeah, you know I mean, that's like with the BBH hoodie. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Representing much love. You know what I mean? But yeah, so um, what's funny is that I always tell people that, you know, a lot of folks stay, you know, after we got to a certain point in life and we recognized that we was going to have to do some things and get the you know, kind of strange to make, you know, ends meet and survive in LA. And um, I didn't want to get my hands dirty. You feel me? So I ended up leaving and I went to Atlanta. And um, I stayed in the dirty south for a good little minute and it got real southernified. And then the Lord brought me back to the West Coast. But shouts out to folks like my girl Brandy Kane, who definitely has been holding it down on the West Coast. Female rapper, been doing her thing, you know, much love because she never left. You know what I'm saying? We came from the same cloth, same part of the um, city. You know what I mean? She went to Dorsey, I went to Crenshaw. It's no shade. I always give her a hard time about that. But you know, she stayed and she definitely held it down. I left. I got the fuck up out of LA. You know, and um, shouts out to the, my team that stayed, you know, because Rollo Styles, who was a producer of mine, was also the producer of the homie Erm, who we now know as Nipsey Hustle. You know, I came up with that whole camp. You feel me? That's and dope, uh, man. Yeah, and like I said, most of my, my folks stayed down and, and did what they had to do to survive. And uh, yeah, I jumped ship, bro. I got the fuck out of LA. You know what I mean? And um, I had, now I'm coming back better and stronger, though. Yeah, so, so, so how love. long were you out? Man, I left, I left L.A. for about 10 years, a little more than 10 years. But see, I've talked to other artists um, with similar situations because, you know, we've been doing this a cool minute, too. Yeah, of but but it, it's like, I know you, it's like kind of a necessary, like we all go through our own things yeah. and it's kind of necessary part of your growth. Yeah. Yeah. But um, did you did you capture any gems from over there as far as oh, as far as your music career? Hell yeah! yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's let's talk that? about that because yeah. I, because everywhere I do go, I try to pick up something, and I'm sure being over there that long, man, because they make some funky ass music oh, man. too. So. It's, a, well, it's a definitely a vibe. So I want to say this: the first thing that I picked up when I moved to L um to Atlanta was that's the first place that I met Matulu Shakur, and a lot of people don't recognize that you know uh, Matulu has been a very interesting instrumental person in the hip-hop game obviously being Tupac's stepfather you know and just being able to cultivate that kind of mind frame of not just rapping for rapping say but rapping for a fucking purpose right so when i yeah, went to some, atlanta some substance some yeah. substance yeah. you feel me so when i went to atlanta that's when i first got hooked up with matulu and we was down in atlanta federal penitentiary and i ended up being able to really get a sense of if i'm gonna be behind a microphone then i really better say some shit that's gonna make motherfuckers feel something yeah. you know what i'm saying so i appreciated that because i didn't get that here in la you didn't have necessarily an og really pulling your coattail like make it count make it count you know what i mean not make the money but make the fucking music count you see what i'm saying so i had to go down south to get that kind of cultivation and i got it through a OG like Matula Shakur, no, nobody else could have gave me the game like that. You know what I mean? And I mean, man, yeah, no, it was a, some... it was a different kind of swag, bro. And then of course, you know, the vibes are different. So as an artist, people like talk your shit, do your shit. You know what I mean? It ain't so much, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, it's not so much competition. You know what I mean? I know LA can be very competitive because you do shit, I do shit, this motherfucker do shit, and niggas don't always want to necessarily give it up and show love and all of that. But in the south. It was a little more hospitable you feel me so as an artist i was really able to 
get my chops up as a performer. I got a lot of good opportunities, performed at a lot of good venues, you know what I mean? It just had a lot of love, man. So coming back here, my, my skin is real tough, you know what I mean? And, I don't need no validation good. from motherfuckers out here now. <laughs> and, and, and that's good because yeah. then it, it like you're more secure in your own, um, you know, music, uh, right what, what right you're on. doing and right stuff. On. But to have that kind of, um, I guess, like mentorship or whatever you, you want to call it behind you, pushing yeah. that. Because, like I said, when when I do go places, I try to, I try to feel how it is there. You know, oh, what I mean? absolutely. And I don't get to travel as much as I would like to. Yeah. But that's good to hear you say that, especially like ha have some substance behind it. Because, you know, my all-time favorite group is is Outcast. Right on. So, yeah, man. So, <laughs> just right when you said it, I, I was like, oh man, <laughs> I, and and to, yeah. to hear you say that is like, um, but they have their own their own stilo too but absolutely it's, it's kind of crazy to hear you say that you kind of grasp having more of a little substance behind it over there um, yeah. and then come back over here and, and kind of yeah. kick that into overdrive man yeah yeah you know the movement always has been revolutionary but gangster you feel me so i think we was raised gangster you know what i mean i was very versed in that culture and very versed in gangbang culture and just tribalism at his heart you know what I mean? But when you you get down south, you start relaxing a little bit. You know what I mean? You start feeling like I say in a new song that we're getting ready to put out called Get Off, which is another song that Rollo Styles produced. And I'm very excited to put that one out. So y'all stay tuned. Maybe about another two weeks or so, we'll drop that one. But, you know, the whole the whole point is that you ain't got to turn everything out. You know what I mean? Sometimes the barbecue can just be the barbecue. Sometimes the lowrider uh, parade can just be the lowrider parade. You know what I mean? It don't necessarily have to be, you know, a fight that come with it. It don't have to necessarily be a shootout that come with it. You know what I mean? Sometimes motherfuckers just want to kick it. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. and have a good and time. And just have a good time. Listen to you the music. I mean? yeah. Bump. yeah. You know what I mean? Coincide with the ladies. Uh, coincide. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know but, I mean? but but that, that's, that, that's dope. I, I'm glad to hear you say that, um, especially with that, is how it blends in with everybody um kind of kind of feeling the music cause, absolutely yeah absolutely. so absolutely. so what do you what is what's you know out there for people that might not know um that they can check for and you kind of touch on some of the stuff that's dropping but go ahead and speak yeah on the music. please you know support the movement so you know i believe i, I call myself a hip-hop artist i'm also in school right now i'm finishing up my last degree from ucla so i call myself a hip-hop scholar so i end up doing research in hip-hop and how to use it in schools as well and i call myself a hip-hop activist you know nice. what i mean but the thing that i hope that people realize is that when hip-hop comes you know you don't want to necessarily think of it as one thing and that's sometimes the misconception that we get right now people assume that if it doesn't look like what's on the mainstream that that's not hip-hop but nah ife jai is hip-hop my man Ma uh, namix is is hip-hop you see what i'm saying and we might necessarily be on the on the billboards yet or on the platforms that you see yet but we still are hip-hop right so the whole idea for me is to show the diversity man hip-hop is not one thing because we're not one thing hip-hop is just as diverse as the people are diverse you feel me so my whole thing is returning to the real that's the name of the movement and i'm encouraging everybody to join a part of it you know what i mean return to what the fucking real shit of hip-hop was and it's not just the light it's not just the djing but it's the break dance and i was just getting on namics about graffiti art he was talking about how he was a tagger and yeah, yeah. didn't want to do the shit no more but i'm like the shit is all connected man so it's a power in the culture and that's something that we don't want to lose as shit starts transitioning people are starting to get caught up on some of the the, the stereotypes of hip-hop you know that it's just about the wop and it's just about this and it is that but it's also not the WAP, and you it's know, also fuck the police, and it's also a lot of different uh, shit. You all feel all me? that, the, the yeah. revolutionary stuff, the and you know, I I I go back always to you know the golden era of hip hop. At least, right, at least right. that's. Um, I mean, I don't want to just say radio wise, but at least even the video channels and stuff, you got to hear a bunch of different yeah, flavors. You got the variety, bro. Yeah, that's you got right. the De La that's Soul, right. the that's NWA, right. and all that's and right. all that kind of stuff. So Yeah, you could, you know, pop your coochie and, uh, you know what I mean? You can got my neck, my feed bag. the people, you know what I'm saying? My neck, you, it was all that, and it was something for everybody. You feel me? And so that's the movement, man. Return to the Real, ifejai.la is the website. You know what I mean? Yeah. You could definitely support my movement. We just dropped the video back in time. I'm loving that fucking video, man, right now. And I hope everybody goes and checks it out. And we got another one coming out. Um, videographer Benny Marquez, awesome videographer out of, of Venezuela. He just moved to L.A. We getting ready to drop that. It's more of a dance track. 
you know what i mean to get everybody kind of going but yeah the movement is moving so definitely check out all the music visit the website ifejie.laifejie oh you got the official website so yeah yeah when peeps got the website usually steers you in the right direction oh it means it's official and you can get the bbh hoodie use my code ifejie and you get 10 percent off you can go to the website and get that too hell yeah that's that og shit right there man get you get you some culture in, in your in your life but it is good to to kind of like what you were saying is um i hope people don't ever lose that and thank god for like uncles and older yeah. brothers and sisters yeah. that they were bumping some shit and then um kids got kind of knowledge uh, uh, uh got schooled a little bit about yeah. um some of the original ways of hip-hop yeah. the yeah. emceeing you know yeah. the the freestyling the like you said the b-boys the djing um everything man it all coincides yeah, that's the sauce man that's yeah, what we don't graffiti. be realizing yeah, that's yeah. the sauce that's the power of it that's why it's been sustained for however many years man and that's why our kids are still sit up and be listening yep. to shit if we put them onto it they'll fuck with it you know what i mean it's just a matter of exposing to them it's like you know you almost have to sit people down and listen to jazz you know what i mean you gotta sit motherfuckers down and make them listen to some hip-hop you know you ever heard of rock him little boy yeah yeah you know what I mean? <laughs> well let me show you i was you know a fiend I mean? <laughs> before i became a teen i melt the microphone you know <laughs> No, hey, and like, these kids bobbing to this goddamn Eric B and Rock Him. You feel know uh, I me? Mean? Like to hear it, here it goes. <laughs> hey, 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 but that that's what I'm saying. It is it's good that because I've noticed one of the things on the B side platform is yeah. I feel like we've kind of at least try to do our part to kind of bridge that gap. Got to, got and, to, got and, to. And, and it's cool because I see to. a lot of people that are pretty young at least compared to me right right but right and, right and they know some shit yeah and like from back in the day yeah. i'm like all right and then i'll ask them and shit. it's usually like and it's usually like oh my older brother or my uncle or right. somebody used to right. bump that oh my right. parents bumped that shit like in the ride i learned that shit from my parents that's I'm real like, as fuck man that, that shit's really cool fun. to hear though you know what i mean that's so, the way it's supposed to be man that's the only way it's gonna last a lot for another generation man for that, generations to go. that knowledge and also that that music culture that man that, like you said whether it be jazz hip-hop you know what I mean? Anything, just like let's let's. If you know some, gotta pass it on. Each man. one, teach one. Gotta let's pass go. it on. Gotta pass it on. Hell yeah. So so what video? Let's get into a video and we'll yeah, come so back. Yeah, so I wanted to show y'all a little clip real quick. Um, so we just got out of the Black August um celebration resistance. Okay, celebration. talk about that too. Okay, so I gotta on. talk about it just yes. really quickly. Yes. So in the uh, federal penitentiary, George Jackson, Jonathan Jackson, they were actually right um banged up. And uh, what is the uh, uh, Attica? What is it? Attica? Is it Attica? I think it, in any way. The point is, is that Attica's they were in. Yeah, I want to say it's Attica, there, right? Yeah. So they were in prison and they decided that in the month of August, they were going to start to fast and they were starting to train. And they started to make demands on the prison system to allow them to get some better treatment. You know what I mean? And you know, the brothers behind walls have always been dogged out. This shit ain't nothing fucking oh, new. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. But in the month of August, these brothers decided that they were having enough of it. And it started off a celebration in a month that they call Black August Resistance. And since then, and I don't know if folks are familiar with Jonathan and George Jackson, but these are infamous black panthers that pretty much ran up in a courthouse at one point and took some judge took a judge and some jurors and like held some people hostage and really on some real gangster shit moran county went up in the courthouses with whole ass rifles and shit right point of the story is in the month of august in african culture and african history people always tear shit up we never realized this until after the fact and we start looking at the month of august nat turner rebellion was in august um mike brown ferguson shit what's happening right now you see what i'm saying the month of august it tends to always be a month where people are just like fuck this shit and because of that we acknowledge that month and we 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 not only acknowledge it but we celebrate it as black august resistance and i'm so honored because just yesterday there was a concert and the concert had yasin bay aka most death headline rhapsody headline big crit headline um audio push i don't know if you guys are familiar with they over here in the indian in empire uh, audio push headline sampa the great a powerful female artist out of zambia real real dope and i had the honor and the privilege to be counted among the numbers man so i'm very 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 lit to be able to bring this to the b-side this shit is on youtube right now it's a wonderful event i encourage all artists anybody that's about motherfucking movement and trying to support the people get into black august 
They're going to be doing hella shit next year because the movement is moving. People are starting to get more and more information about it. So this is a clip from my segment of the Black August concert. See, thank you for sharing that because as a... You know, as a true hip hop head, one of the things hip hop is about is that there's many cultures involved in it. You know, what I mean, this music is powerful, and, yeah, I, yeah. and I, I thank you for sharing that part because I think all of us need to do, besides educating yourself on your own culture and your own nationality and stuff, do do your research because we all live together and that's right. Um, we all need and to we know all fighting for the same foot oh. to get off our neck, bro. Yeah, at the end you. of the day, thank you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> We, we trying so fuck to fuck the bullshit. We got shit to do. <laughs> we we're trying to get our fair shake without getting our fucking necks. You know what I mean? So that's right. Um, real talk. Thank you for sharing that. Well, let's get into this clip right here, man. Let's go. Be side. All right, what's up, y'all? It's your girl Ife Jai, and we celebrating Black August Resistance. I'm up here with my man, Lyndon Wise, and of course, my girl, Amore, the songstress. And we finna give y'all some good vibrations, so check this out. Let's go. Late night, riding dirty down the highway. One time, been banging on them all day. Three deep on deck with a mug on. Look left, look right, turn pipe, they zone. See the sirens and it's finna be over. Hot boys, hot girls, trained soldiers. Been waiting for a time like this. Cause them boys shoot us down and the people got us pissed. But tonight, yeah, they got the wrong ones. Pull yours, pull mine's, move some. Get out the car, it's the routine stop. But you know they know better, it's the New Jersey cops. Gunshots ring out, it's official. Murder by the cops, something like South Central. Man down, two caught, twist the fate. Try to put her in the ground, but a side got away. Black all gas, come on. Green, red, black all gas, let's go. Green, red, black all gas. Red, black, green, oh, now my people to sing the check. Talk about hitting links, it's a whole love. Take it back to the hood, so it's all love. Two fronts, but the squad in the back, but to pull out they straps on the motherfucking brakes truck. Some walk, some talk, some play hard. Dedicate whole lives to the one cause. Some say he's the brains of the whole ops. One number free, 23 of them on lock. What they say? Yeah, I guess they still scared of us. ADX call us modern day terrorists. Somebody tell them that we steal that war. Yeah, we ride till we die. Ask my to call. Now all my people sing. Come on. Hey, let freedom ring. And all my people reply. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We the people who fly. Come on, the black August. Uh-huh. Green, red, black August. Uh-huh. Green, red, black August. Let's go. Red, black, green. Oh, now my people to sing the check. Moran County, y'all can say yes, seven, no. Big brother on trial, gotta let him go. Solid dad caught up on conspiracy. Little brother plotting on him, got a plan to set him free. They say, oh, girl, had the gas in the courtroom. Middle of the session, little brother holler. Nobody move, nobody get hurt. Anybody get ideas? Somebody get stuck, cause this is what it is. I want my brother in the commissary on trial with taking the judge i'm taking the da and a couple of jewels for insurance to get away hey the brothers gave each other and embraced they on a run got a van out front posted waiting on them hella pigs on deck doing they patrolling gunshots they go out in the blast little jonathan jets did his thing he know he bad black all gas come on green red black all gas uh-huh. green red black all gas let's go red black green oh no my people Black August, black August, black August, black black August, black August, black August, black black August, black August, black August, black Oh, now my people to sing. Hey, oh, that was good. Black August, y'all. It's a celebration all month long, and we are getting it in Black August resistance. And I want to just put another vibration out there one time, real quick. We just dropped this song called Back in time and it's featuring my girl amore please go to youtube spotify itunes all social media platforms all internet platforms and please support the movement y'all all right we're gonna get right into it because we don't want to waste no time and we want to get into it real 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 good and uh yeah vibe with us here we go back in time y'all produced by rollo styles legendary producer the guy that's behind all of Nipsey Hussle's mixtapes. It's an honor to be able to bring this song forth. I hope y'all love it and receive it. Check this out. Mm -mm. 
Yes, thank you, Lord.
Celebrate Black August Resistance. Please support the movement, www.efaje.la, and go follow Lyndon Wise, extraordinary drummer with all kind of shits and giggles and things he <laughs> came up with. And of course, y'all go follow my girl, Amore the Songstress. She got a new EP finna come out, and y'all definitely want to support it. So, yeah, the movement is moving. Free Matula Shakur and all prisoners of war. And uh, yeah, you coming or what's up? Or no, I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> All right, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Ife Jai, and we celebrating Black August resistance. Ife Jai in the building with hey. the B-Side show. I think I'm getting better at You got so much flavor. better, you but know what I mean? So I knew I would get it eventually. Yeah, hey, yeah, hell yeah. So um, you've, you've been doing your, your music thing. Um, you, you know, moved, got some flavor over there, came back. Yeah. Um, let me ask you, um, cause like, like I asked Namek earlier, what, during this time, things have been shut down and stuff. What have you yeah. been, uh, what's been your go-to or what have you been, you've been doing to either keep sane or be productive? What's been your thing? Yeah, what's funny is I keep telling people COVID's been good as fuck to me. Yeah. Okay? That's it's what been, I was saying it's earlier. It's been to me, actually. You know what I mean? <laughs> as an artist, I've done a couple shows. <laughs> I've definitely traveled. I've been to the ATL and back. You feel me? But this has been a time where I've been able to really buckle down and get a lot of my business in order because we ain't having to pay money for yeah. stupid shit like gas because yeah. ain't nothing open and you ain't going out to eat and you ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? So a lot of the money that I'd be using to do like bullshit went and solidified my LLC, solidified my publishing shit, got some other some screens, some new screens for my t-shirts. You know what I'm saying? got my website a little bit more popping invested in some of my businesses man and it's been really good actually hey and that's that's good to hear because i think um you know because i've been trying to do the same as staying as productive as yeah. i can Hell yeah using it in a good way and then what resources i do have why not flip it back into what we're doing Something. But, Something. Pe but people need to hear that though because sometimes i think um they forget about okay reinvesting in yourself oh absolutely and i want to say this too i never bought any extra toilet paper yeah. <laughs> what's up i refuse I, we still don't to buy extra toilet paper i refuse we st nobody still gets i'm on it. my same stash man so and, I'm, on, I'm on my same stash ratio you're right hey, yeah just being the fan we us we <laughs> stocked up on our shit like in a regular supply so we didn't need to go out and like listen go crazy but don't believe are, all the hype so the hype is real hey don't those people are still trying to sell that shit back listen <laughs> too much tissue was wrong three why squares, did everybody go buy three tissue? Squares, i don't know serve three squares that's how you get that's not <laughs> hey, you're on that you nigga. get you're bro. on that county shit hey, bro. <laughs> three squares man and i'm gonna watch that shit too i'm, I'm watching so, your so, ass so you better do them conserve yeah, you Hold get three squares <laughs> yeah each and that's it you better use I'm it sick, use girl. it wisely <laughs> that's right Keep hey, the money hey, in the pocket yeah that so, part so, so yeah so man. you've been staying productive i've been staying productive and let me keep it real you got to keep your perspective on man sickness like this is not something that has never happened in the history of humankind oh, before yeah. so you know don't everybody lose their shit you know what I mean this too shall pass you feel me i mean yeah some hygienic shit is very fucking practical like yeah. washing your hands and you know it was you know, it was that almost type of shit, it right? was almost like this had to happen so people would know that yeah wash your fucking hands yeah, that is a fundamental Wa thing to wash do your night. ass take showers <laughs> like you know what i mean like use sanitizer on your hands hey you know what yeah. though i always like um 
for the work I do, like I'll work on, I'm a, like a repair technician on the, you know, what I do. Got you. And so I would always, I would have a habit of always, I mean, anyways, washing my hands. Yeah, that was yeah. normal. But I didn't, I never really used, like now I'm used to sanitize, like the hand sanitizer. I feel you. I feel you. Like I never really used to use, I just wash I'm my hands. I'm still not really but now into I'm the sanitizer, like, bro. I, I, I got used to it. Nothing I, I really actually beats did. a good hand washing. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm down for the sanitizer on the touch and go. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? But if you can, pull over and wash your fucking hands, bro. <laughs> like soap and water legitimately yeah. underneath the nails, sing happy birthday one time. And I think you should be good. That's what yeah. they say. Hey, and that's <laughs> and, and again common sense yeah but people yeah, just i mean yeah, they part. just don't get it yeah. hey but uh yeah and i and i hope people have been using it um to their advantage like you said yeah. stay productive yeah. Yeah. i've been doing yeah. stuff at the crib like work that i knew i wouldn't get done if shit was over right. because then i would right. be out doing stuff but it's all so, about yeah. time maximization man yeah. and you know what's honest i give thanks for this opportunity too because i feel like the universe is causing for people to pause and to take inventory so whether you, you may not have had the opportunity before to smell the roses um sometimes you know during this COVID, you might have had the time to really say oh i actually like that person that i live with or my kids are actually pretty cool people or you know what i mean cooking a meal at home may not actually be that bad you know so i give thanks for us as a collective body of human beingness being able to stop and get out the matrix for two seconds and actually see what deplugging might feel like and yeah. some of us li like that shit love that shit and never want to go back into the matrix and are fighting for a reality that exists without it so i give thanks for covid in many many ways you know shouts out to anybody who has lost loved ones definitely my sympathy goes out and my condolences to anybody i definitely have lost people in my family but i will say that the motherfucker that died from covid in my family was 100 and something years old so i mean old age covid you feel me i mean some motherfuckers just wasn't gonna make it yeah you know I mean? they, and, and they, yeah shouts out to brother brown he's our great uncle and we love him dearly but that motherfucker was 102 years old okay so i hope i live to 100 you feel me i'm like covid yeah it was a problem damn the covid but brother brown was 102 and he lived a great life so that's my personal experience with it so i don't take away from anybody who has lost loved ones but you know the truth of the matter is is that it's a beautiful thing to get out the matrix fam like it's a powerful thing yeah yo. And it, it really is shout out to those of us who got a chance to get out and, of it and, and then i, I realized like too that i'm like okay i'm not i'm cool with my family i'm not gonna kill them all like yeah i actually like these people. yeah I, i'm cool with them yeah. i i guess we could have a long life together so <laughs> right i might just keep her around a little longer <laughs> my kids my, my lady everything no yeah. because i've been here like i'm I'll listen to like on my way i'm listening to like talk radio or whatever yeah. and uh they're saying like the divorce rate went oh up. no shit got real yeah and i'm shit like got real. yeah and i'm like Emmett smith i think and his wife divorced oh, uh patty smith i follow her on instagram and they decided to break up you know what i mean some other motherfuckers have really decided to break up. It forced know? people to like deal with each other. Yeah. Entanglement. The enta like I was just thinking oh, the entanglement God. came out. Nobody knew about crazy. the entanglement until we had uh, shit else to do but that's sit that's up in the motherfucker's real business. Shit. That started Listen, a whole other thing up. I'm looking for an no, I got me an entanglement. I don't need I don't need one. I got my entanglement. Yeah. So <laughs> look, I got, look I got <laughs> There's no Will Smith. Word. No Will Smith. <laughs> Hey, and besides, we got the human <laughs> entanglement in the building. Right? Encouragement. That's a slick one, though. I'm, I'll I give props that for that one. That's a slick ass. Oh, you motherfuckers are hey. funny. Hey, so so let them know where they could, uh, you know, check you out, your music. Yeah, all that stuff, yeah. Man. Please support the movement. Oh, the, the for, website. Yeah. yeah, my website is ethaje dot la because I didn't want dot com because I want motherfuckers to know what city I'm representing for. And it's dot la all day so i f e j i e dot la you know what i mean and just google my shit you can put the name in any kind of search engine and all my shit will pop up man but yeah just check it out listen i hope you got some stuff on there that you like i got a bunch of songs i got two albums a couple singles that are out and yeah we working on a new project in a minute I'm getting ready to drop another video yeah so Mad stay productive tuned. Mad Stay productive, tuned. man. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, man. You fed Jaib. Uh, thank you, thank you for coming through. Let me let me man, ask you. The, the man, let me ask you this. Going way back, and um, what 
uh, made you fall in love with hip hop or or, or want to be uh, an actual yeah. part of the culture and keep being a, a yeah. an artist? What what was yeah. it that? So I tell people, and I, I say it is an EPK that I have put out on YouTube, so you can get the full story. But I tell people the first time I ever rap, I was in church, and um, I dare say that I caught the rap Holy Ghost. And I was on the microphone and doing a little acapella piece and the drummer of the church got on the drums and started giving me a beat. And between the microphone and the beat, it literally sent chills up my spine, bro. And I knew then that I was gonna have a fucking problem with this microphone. And, and, and then it, it if since. you did that in church, I'm sure there was folks that had uh, chills up their spine oh, too. Hell yeah. So hell yeah. That, that's, hell yeah. that's right. Man. Yeah, that was real. So I caught the bug early, bro. I it, caught the bug early. Hey, and and matter of fact, when you guys did the award show, you did the piece with the drummer, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> I uh, love live music yeah. with, with MC. No, no, no shade to the DJ though, because the DJ always will have a place in my heart. But there's a thing as a hip hop artist when you get live instrumentation, it fucks the whole game up and it changes the vibration on a whole nother level. And on hip hop to get that like live yeah. drum, that's oh, that's that shit. Cause it started on break beats, yeah. being looped and that all part. that stuff. Yeah, that part. so that, that part. was drums and that part. hey, man, percussion. So, yeah, hey, so shout hey, out Lyndon Wise, my drummer. He says holding me down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. We gotta shout him out. I yeah. was actually gonna ask you his name too. Yeah, Lyndon. Lyndon's awesome. Lyndon Wise. He's a phenomenal drummer. So, yeah. so on the new stuff, you got the stuff out there now. The stuff you're working on and all yeah. that. Um, do you implement instrumentation and all that? Or you know what? When we're, what's happen? funny is that I play the piano just a little bit. Okay. And so a lot of my tracks, um, I start on the piano. And then I give him to Rollo, and Rollo is such a fucking genius, and I always have to pick so, him so up. So he puts the beat around it. Man, when I tell you I go in the lab, and I be like, Rollo, I got this, boom, boom, boom. And I'll sit and I'll play the melody, right? Motherfucker, put it into the, put it, put it into the software, he'll vibe with it, and then he'll just literally transform the song into something else that's, that's and that the shit becomes magic. that's what like again beautiful about hip-hop to me because yeah. i've been in many studios of my life since yeah. way back and all that but that's always the thing that uh continue to draw me of course live shit too but it's like that creating process oh absolutely and, and uh absolutely. man that that's just so it's yeah. a powerful thing it, it like that's what kept me out of a lot of bad situations yeah. that i could have been in because yeah. I, I was in a studio instead at late at night instead of being out that's right probably so productive with yourself yeah yeah, yeah. And, that, yeah, yeah. and that's going way back so hell yeah uh, oh man thank you for sharing these stories yeah thank you pe people need to hear that shit uh turn this, to the real this is hip-hop <laughs> uh drastic man thank yeah, you for yeah. coming through doing Shouts the mix out. always a pleasure man Shouts always. out Shouts out yeah man eclipse holding us down drag uh oh, shay oh, whitey in the back oh, um, i love his fucking instagram name bro oh yeah so Sh this 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 motherfucker's for real this is his old this is real ass ig oh shay whitey i know this motherfucker. <laughs> do you know you, you know where that you know where that originated uh my brain goes to undercover brother but you tell me oh uh be I think it was before that. It was uh, probably uh, so. Uh, uh, in living color. Not in living color. Yet they did a skit on Homie it. the clown. Yeah, Homie uh, the clown. Uh, and there was a restaurant, and it was in French. Y'all are killing me yeah, right I now. I swear. Oh, and you it was in French. To YouTube. And my brother's real name is Shay. My mom gave us, you know, names that at that time weren't common. I mean, I don't know if his still is. Yeah, sure is cool. Yeah, and and my real name is Brandon. Okay. But at the time, people weren't really named that so much. So my mom wanted, but uh, in Living Color, they did the homie the clown skit. That's crazy. And, and they they had the uh the, the it was a French restaurant and it was Shay Whitey, but C H E Z like Shay Whitey. -E yeah, homie it was just the clown. Yeah. Don't so, mess around. So one of, oh, so one of my, my homies back in the day like gave him that name like cause oh, that used to watch yeah, so. <laughs> hey, hey, what was that that he had in his jar was it a pickle oh uh, that's what we want we were well, told fuck, bro what the no, fuck no, we like, were told that that shit was, was not a pickle yeah, yeah, it was that shit bro. Yeah. Yeah. Was, toilet that was sorry, what to, to be. sorry to break it to you drastic <laughs> but that wasn't that a pickle that was a porta potty <laughs> like, a mobile porta potty motherfucker that's what that was he had it full it was like he's living color he's living color 
with his sock of I don't, mystery. I don't know what the hell. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I definitely tore up a bunch of socks fucking around trying to be home with the clown. Oh, in the house. hitting. Yeah, the, yeah. What? We hit the, Stretching the I hit my little cousins. Socks. I hit my little cousins what? with the sock. Do some damage with that. Yeah. One. What? Hey, so drastic. Let them know where they could get at you too, and also you make beats. Let them for know. Sure, for sure. For sure. I've been on my production not during this whole quarantine madness, and uh, just kind of stepping up my, you know, my ear and and just more listening than anything else, and just talking to people. You know, it, it forced me to put the phone down and just kind of reach out to people and and just communicate on a listening level because before. I never just stopped to listen. It was always like, oh, yeah, 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 that's good, that's good. But I never really took the time out to stop and listen to somebody's stuff. So I've been on that and just kind of giving more of an open ear that rather than anything else. And my music is growing and my music is getting better. And I'm because able Because of listening, right? Because I'm listening instead of talking and instead of. That's uh, real as fuck, bro. So, yeah, that's so that, that's fun. where I'm at right now. And just my music is just becoming this whole monster of a, of a sound now. And it's like, nice. I can reach out to bigger artists and i can reach out i can sit in a room with these artists that have accomplishments and play my stuff comfortably knowing that they're gonna like it for That's sure beautiful. but uh beautiful. but you can find me on instagram at nick drastic nick underscore drastic with a k just dm me we'll we'll link up for sure i'm, I'm pretty humble about everything you know let's let's work you know i'm always down for people that are hungry so if you hungry and you want to get it let's let's do it you know let's eat let's go let's go uh, and let them know where they could get at you one yeah, more follow time me, instagram Sister. ife x j i e and of course the website ife j i e dot la and uh facebook ife j i e my whole shit ife j i e man i try to keep it simple and simple 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 for the people <laughs> let, me, let me ask so, you yeah. this before we tail off and we're gonna play a uh i think we're gonna play a, play a performance clip from you okay yeah uh, to end the show uh, but I wanted to ask if there was a crazy collab that you could ever do, you and another artist, producer, get an artist and producer, any genre of music, who would you like to one day work with? Man, right now, this very second, I'm on that audio push right now. This very motherfucking second. That's just because we just got off that concert. But one of my favorite producers of all time is Metro Boomin. And I don't know, you know, I told you I was in Atlanta for a good little minute. You know what I mean? But I fuck with Metro Boomin, and I really am on these uh, female rappers. So right now, I'm listening to Young M.A. I really like this chick named Baby Mother out of Memphis, Tennessee going real hard okay you know i know saying? ma but now i'm gonna have to go oh, check oh man what, fuck what's with baby mother baby okay. mother's her name she's like a female eight ball mjg mc type flavor you feel me so yeah i'm really on them females right now so if i could do a collab with any one of those hard ass female rappers i would definitely do but because audio push is in the backyard i'm trying to make a fucking phone call yeah like, yeah right <laughs> let's get that shit cracking like real shit i need an ephe audio push you know what I mean? Collaboration real quick. That should be a good look. Yeah, man. And, and I've met them at separate times, but um, yeah. they, you know, came together. Those and, dudes are hardcore. Yeah, I, I man. I fuck with their whole swag. Yeah, 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 man. So, hey, so there it is right there. You heard it here. We're going to get into this real quick. We're probably going to light up real Black. fast. <laughs> I'm gonna crack one more before I get out of here, but uh, thank you for coming through. We yeah, had another shout dope out show. Yeah, man, another dope show. Oh, shout out to team one more time, man. Drastic for coming through. Uh, DJ Clip, Shay Whitey, Drac, uh, yeah. man, the whole squad, uh, Erica. Uh, oh, Kevin, Hooligan, Shots Fire Photos. You guys will be oh, yeah. peeping the photos real soon, man. We'll see you guys next week. Oh, and one more thing before we go. Uh, we'll have our next episode coming this Friday of the Rabbit Season podcast. So make sure you guys check that as well, man. See you guys next week. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah.